Hello everyone. Good day for all. Welcome back to another episode of Ayurveda Veda, a smart way to Ayurveda. I am Dr. Kavya Vasudev and you are watching Study Ashtanga Hridaya series. Please subscribe to my channel and enable the bell button for continuous updates in Samhita. In the last videos, we were discussing Dosha Bhediya Adhyaya of Ashtanga Hridaya Sutra Stana. We have discussed what is Chaya, Prakopa and Prashamana and how the Doshas are getting Chaya, Prakopa and Prashamana. And also discussed that Dosha is the main reason for the disease manifestation. If you have not watched those videos, please click the i button to access them. Moving with the same chapter, Dosha Bhediya Adhyaya. The Roga Karana are told as Hina Yoka, Midhya Yoka and Adi Yoka of Kala, Artha and Karma. Kala means the season, Artha means the Indri Artha that is the sense organs and Karma means the activities which are being done that is Kaya, Vak and Manasa Pravarti. The Hina Yoka, Midhya Yoka and Adi Yoka of these Kala, Artha and Karma are considered to be the main causative factors for the disease manifestation. So moving with Artha, how we can understand the Hina Yoga, Mithya Yoga and Ati Yoga of Artha. Hino Arthena Indriyasya Alpaha Samyokaha Svena Na Evava Ati Yoko Adi Samsargaha Sukshma Bhasura Bhairavam Atyasana Adi Durastam Vipriyam Vikrutadicha Yadakshana Vikshate Rupam Mithya Yogaha Sadarunaha Evam Atyucha Putyadini Indriyarthan Yadhayadam Vidyad Hino Arthena Indriyasya Alpa Samyokaha Svena Na Eva Va Ati Yoko Ati Samsargaha Sukshma Bhasura Bhairavam Atyasana Adi Durastam Vipriyam Vikrutadi Cha Yet Akshana Vikshate Rupam Mithya Yogaha Sa Darunaha Evam Atyucha Putyadin Indriyarthan Yadhayadam Vidyad Hino Arthena Indriyasya Alpa Samyoga Svena Na Evava Ati Yoko Ati Samsargaha Sukshma Bhasura Bhairavam Atyasana Adi Durastam Vipriyam Vikrutati Cha Yet Akshana Vikshate Rupam Mithya Yogaha Sa Darunaha Evam Atyucha Putyadin Indriyarthan Yadhayadam Vidyad so Hina Yoga means the pure association of sense organs that is Indriya and Indriyartha some yoga will be happening and when it is pure association or when there is no association at all we consider that as Hina Yoga. That is Artha refers to Shabdadi that is Shabdasparsha, Ruparasa and Gandha that is the Indriyarthas and Svena here refers to the Indriyas that is the Srotra, the Indriyas are called as Svena. So when there is Indriya and Indriyartha Sannikarsha the knowledge will be obtained or the perception of the things will be obtained. So whenever this Artha or Indriya and Indriyartha Sannikarsha is very less we consider it as Hina Yoga. Indriyasya Svena Arthena Alpa Samyogaha that is insufficient union of Indriya and Indriyartha and also Samyogaha Na Eva and also if there is no contact of Indriya and Indriyartha or there is no Indriya Indriyartha sam, Sannikarsha or Samyoga that is also considered as Hina Yoga. So the non-association or poor association or insufficient association of Indriya and Indriyartha is considered to be Hina Yoga. And Ati Yoga means excessive indulgence or excessive association of Indriya and Indriyartha are considered to be Ati Yoga. That is Ati Samsarga. Samsarga means the combination or the indulgence or association is called as Samsarga. So when there is Indriya and Indriyartha Samsarga or Samyoga in over or in excessively then it is considered as Ati Yoga. And similarly, Mithya Yoga. Mithya Yoga means which is not properly done. It is neither uh, note or absence. It is also neither very excessively. In between it will be there, but it won't be proper association between Indriya and Indriyartha. 
So for example, related to the eyes or Akshana Vikshyate Rupam that is uh, based on the eyes, few examples such as if we are looking on Sukshma that is seeing objects which are very minute, Bhasura that is very bright objects, Bhairava very fearful objects such as uh, such things are being uh, seen or we are uh, uh, looking into such items for a prolonged time or uh, um, seeing it uh, for a uh, continuously seeing such things that is Sukshma Bhasura Bhairava and also Atyasana that is the things which are very close or very near Atidurasta that which is very far Vipriya which is not liked or which is very disliked Vikritadi awkward things such things are being seen for a prolonged time or it is being seen continuously then it is considered to be Mithya Yoga so these are considered to be the uh, Hina Yoga Ati Yoga and Mithya Yoga and similarly the other indriyas like uh, the atyucha that is the uh, sounds of high frequency if we are hearing sounds of uh, high frequency or putyadin that the smell which is putrefying smell such all things are being smelled or getting uh, associated with such kinds of smells which is not good such all things are considered to be midhya yoga so not properly having association of indriya and indriyartha is considered to be midhya yoga so here the artha uh, hina yoga Dhyayoga yoga and ati yoga of artha has been mentioned that is the association of indriya and indriyartha when it is very insufficient or very less or absence then we call it as hina yoga when it is in excessive then uh, it is called as ati yoga and when it is not proper then we call it as midhya yoga next is kala that is regarding the season so first artha has been mentioned next is kala hina yoga mithya yoga and ati yoga of kala can also lead to the disease manifestation kalastu shitoshna varsha bheda stridha madaha sa hino hina shita adir ati yogo ati lakshanaha mithya yoga stu nirdishto viparita svalakshanaha kalaha tu shita ushna varsha bheda stridha madaha Sahino, Hina, Shitadihi, Ati Yoko, Ati Lakshanaha, Mithya Yogaha, Tu Nirdishto, Viparita, Sva Lakshanaha, Kalaha, Tu Shita, Ushna, Varsha, Bheta, Tritha, Madaha, Sahino, Hina, Shitadi, Ati Yogo, Ati Lakshanaha, Mithya Yogaha, Tu Nirdishto, Viparita, Sva Lakshanaha. So the Hina Yoga, Mithya Yoga and Ati Yoga of Kala is being described and Kala is being classified into three types that is or it is of three types that is Shita, Ushna and Varsha. The seasons can be mainly categorized as Shita that is cold seasons, Ushna that is hot seasons and Varsha that is rainy season. So the Hina Yoga, Mithya Yoga and Ati Yoga of these three seasons are being mentioned in this Shloka. Hina Yoga, Hina Shitadihi. That is when the Shitadi, that is Shita, Ushna and Varsha are very little or very less or absence of this uh, Shita, uh, Ushna and Varsha is there, we consider it as Hina Yoga. That is uh, in the Shita uh, Ritus, when it is less cold in that particular Ritu or when it is absent or in the Grishma or in the other uh, Ushna Ritus when there is no temperature or uh, there is less uh, temperature or in the rainy season there is very less rain then we consider it as Hina Yoga that is when the Shita, Ushna and Varsha are very less we consider it as Hina Yoga and Ati Yoga means Ati Lakshana that is excessive uh, quantity or a quality of that particular season is considered to be Ati Yoga that is in the rainy season or Varsha Rudu more of rain or in the cold seasons more of uh, coldness and in the Ushna Rutus more of uh, hotness will be uh, seen such uh, things are considered to be Ati Yoga of Kala and Mithya Yoga Nirdishto Viparita Swalakshanaha and in particular season the particular characteristics has been mentioned that is in the Shita Rutus uh, the Shita should be present in the Ushna Rutus Ushna should be there and in the Varsha Rutu the rain should be present so this is the normal or Swalakshana the normal uh, seasonal characteristics if there is a change in this seasonal characteristics or opposite things are happening then we consider it as Mithya Yoga for example in Varsha 
varsha ritu the normally happening is varsha or rain should be present but if there is no rain and instead of that increased or decreased shita or ushna is present then we consider it as midhya yoga and also in the shita ritus that is uh, when there is should be cold climate if there is uh, excessive of uh, varsha or rain or uh, excessive of hotness is there then that also considered as midhya yoga and in the ushna ritus that is when the temperature should be more in such conditions when there is uh, rain or when there is uh, more of shita property that also can be considered as midhya yoga so whenever the opposite qualities or opposite characteristics of a uh, particular season is being seen that we can consider as midhya yoga so these are the for properties or features of atiyoga hina yoga and mithya yoga of kala next regarding the karma hina yoga atiyoga and mithya yoga of karma that is activities kaya va chitta bhedena karma api vibhajade tridha kayaadi karmanam hina pravrtir hina saknyakah atiyoko ativrittistu vego dhirana dharanam vishamanga kriyarambhah padana skhalanadikam भाषण सामीभुक्त रागद्वेशयादी चर्मण प्राणादिपादादी दशधा यंदित मिथ्यायोग समस्तो असाविह वा अमुत्र वा कृत काय वाक् चित्त भेदेन कर्मा अपि विभजेत त्रुधा कायादि कर्मणाम हीना प्रवृत्ति ही हीना सक्न्यकः अति योगो अति वृत्ति ही तु वेग उदीरण धारणम विषम अंग क्रियारंभः पदन स्खलनादिगम भाषणम सामीभुक्तस्य राग द्वेष भयादी च कर्म प्राण अति पादादि दशधा यत् च निंदितम मिथ्या योगः समस्तो असौ इह वा अमुत्त वा कृतम काय वा चित्त भेदेन कर्मा अपि विभजेत त्रधा कायादि कर्मणाम हीन प्रवृत्ति ही हीन सक्न्यकः अति योगो अति वृत्ति ही तु वेग उदीरण धारणम विषम अंग क्रियारंभः पदन स्खलनादिकम भाषण सामीभुक्त रागद्वेश भयादी च कर्म प्राण अति पादादी दशदा यत् च निंदित मिथ्या योग समस्तो असौ इह वा अमुत्र वा कृत so karma is again classified into three types that is kaya vak and chitta that is the actions or activities which are pertaining to the body is uh, called as kaya which is uh, pertaining to the speech is called as vak and the activities related to mind is called as chitta so the activities which are related to kaya vak and chitta are told and the hina yoga mithya yoga and adi yoga of karma related to kaya vak and manas is being told hina yoga hina pravrti all the activities when it is very less we can consider it as hina yoga that is based on work very less speaking based on kaya very little uh, physical activity and based on chitta or mana very less thought processes so such less activity can be considered as hina yoga that is hina pravrti the pravrti or the action when it is very little we can consider it as hina yoga and adi yoga adi vritti hi when the activities are in excessive then we can consider as adi yoga that is excessive speaking or excessive physical activity or excessive thinking or other uh, such mental uh, activities so such uh, excessive actions can be considered as adi yoga that is adi vritti is called as adi yoga that is excessive activity of kaya vak and manas is considered to be the adi yoga mithya yoga mithya yoga means improper uh, activities are called, uh, called as mithya yoga regarding the kaya or physical activities vega udirana dharana that is the suppression and also uh, forceful uh, production of uh, vekas the vega udirana and dharana vega udirana means the forceful uh, production of vega and vega dharana means suppression of the vekas विषमांग क्रियारंभ दट इज डूइंग द फिजिकल एक्टिविटीज इन इम्प्रॉपर पोस्टर्स और डिफिकल्ट पोस्टर्स इफ द एक्टिविटीज आर बीइंग डन दैट इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी मिथ्या योगा पतना दट इज एब्रेट फॉलिंग स्खलनादिक दट इज स्खलना मीन्स द अनस्टडी गेट सो सच एक्टिविटीज आर कंसिडर्ड टू बी मिथ्या योगा विच इज रिलेटेड टू काय दट इज वेग उदीरण धारण विषम अंग क्रियारंभ पतना स्खलन एक्सेट्रा 
മിഥ്യായോഗ ഓഫ് വാക്ക് ഭാഷണം സാമി ഭുക്തസ്യ സ്പീക്കിംഗ് വൈൽ ടേക്കിംഗ് ഫുഡ് ഓർ കൺസ്യൂമിംഗ് ഫുഡ് വൈൽ സ്പീക്കിംഗ് ഓർ ടോക്കിംഗ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് കൺസിഡർ ടു ബി മിഥ്യായോഗ റിലേറ്റഡ് ടു വാക്ക് and mithya yoga of chitta or mind raga that is attachment or excessive attachment or lust or love towards something dvesha hatredness bhayadi that is fear and such other manasika emotions or mental emotions prana atipadadi dashatha karma that is the dashavidha papa karma which has been mentioned in the sadvratta of second chapter that is dinacharya adhyaya that is dashavidha papa karma uh, if one is following the such dashavidha papa karma then that is also considered to be mithya yoga iha va amutra vakritam and all these karmas kaya vak and manas or chitta karmas when uh, either it is being done in this world iha loga or amutra the or the next uh, world or next uh, loga such all activities are considered to be mithya yoga so these are the ati yoga hina yoga and mithya yoga of uh, karma and this karma is basically uh, considered as a three that is kaya vak and manas or chitta so the activities related to kaya vak and uh, manas has to be considered as hina yoga ati yoga or mithya yoga and if uh, such activities are being done they are the considered as the reasons or causes for the disease manifestation next the concept of roga marga has been told നിദാന മേത ദോഷാണാം കുപിതാസ്തേന ന ഏകത കുർവന്തി വിവിധാൻ വ്യാധീൻ ശാഖാ കോഷ്ടാസ്തി സന്ധിഷു നിദാനം ഏതത് ദോഷാണാം കുപിതാഹ തേന ന ഏകത കുർവന്തി വിവിധാൻ വ്യാധീൻ ശാഖാ കോഷ്ട അസ്ഥി സന്ധിഷു നിദാനം ഏതത് ദോഷാണാം കുപിതാഹ തേന ന ഏകത കുർവന്തി വിവിധാൻ വ്യാധീൻ ശാഖാ കോഷ്ട അസ്ഥി സന്ധിഷു so these are the uh, uh, causative factors for the disease manifestation that is hina yoga mithya yoga and ati yoga of kala artha and karma are the causative factors responsible for the disease manifestation and these factors will be producing the dosha dushti or the dosha will be attaining chaya and prakopa and thus this uh, the dosha dushti will be further producing the diseases and this diseases will be produced in different sites of the body and such uh, sites of uh, disease manifestation or the pathway in which the disease manifestation is occurring they is uh, they are called as roga marga that is marga means the path or the way so the path through which the roga is being produced that is called as roga marga so mainly three types of roga marga are there first is shakha that is uh, the rakta adi dhadu that is the dhadu starting from rakta and also twak is considered to be shakha koshta the whole elementary tract and asti and sandhi and such other factors are considered to be the three main roga marga so the dosha which is getting dushti because of the hina yoga mithya yoga or ati yoga of kala or artha or karma the dosha dushti will be producing diseases in these pathways or the diseases will be manifesting in these particular areas so these are the three roga margas shakha koshta and asti sandhi so the diseases will be uh caused by the uh nidana sevana and especially this hina yoga mithya yoga and ati yoga of kala artha and karma it will be producing the dosha dushti and this dosha dushti will be producing the diseases in these three roga markas today we have discussed a portion of dosha bhediya adhyaya from ashtanga hrade sutra sthana and will be continuing the same chapter in the upcoming videos For more updates on Samhita, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you. See you in the next video. Till then, bye.